For this downgrade, you not only need your iPhone 3GS and a 30 pin cable, but you also need a Mac running at least OS 10 El Capitan or newer, although Mac OS 10.12 Sierra or later is advised. Mac OS requirements are for the main tool of this downgrade, which is legacy iOS kit that I will link in this video's description. Whilst legacy iOS kit works on Linux, I have very little experience with it, so this tutorial is not for Linux users. Furthermore, I also advise using a Mac with USB A ports if you can, because adapters often interfere with downgrades. The second thing that you need is you need the IPSW file for your deck for the iOS version that you want to downgrade to, which I will also have linked below in the description, or at least a place to get them all. But an, an important notice is that please note that whether your iPhone 3GS is old boot ROM or new boot ROM influences the gamut of iOS versions that you can downgrade to. First of all, if your iPhone 3GS is 8 GB because it is new boot ROM, However, your iPhone 3GS is either 16GB or 32GB and you're still not sure, check, check its serial numbers right here. If its third number is 9, then you are good to go. And if the fourth and fifth numbers are 35 or below, you are also good to go as yours is old boot ROM. If, it, if its fifth, fourth and fifth numbers are between 35 and 45 and the third number is 9, it may be either or, so your results will be mixed. Otherwise, your iPhone 3GS is definitely new boot ROM. If your iPhone 3GS is new boot ROM like this one, it can exclusively downgrade to iOS 4.1. Otherwise, you can downgrade your iPhone 3GS to whatever version you desire. Please note that if you run into any issues with this downgrade, please check other comments or rewatch this video before commenting. Because oftentimes I get comments about issues with downgrades that I've, where, where I mentioned the solutions in the video. So once you've gotten all your stuff downgrading, you need to go ahead and begin downgrading the phone. So the first step to do this is you need to enter DFU mode. So what you need to do to enter DFU mode is you need to hold the power and home button for, for 10 seconds and hold the home button for 15 seconds. So don't let go of the home button. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. As you can tell, it came up in, in Finder, in my case, with as recovery mode, it's DFU mode, just comes up as recovery mode. So now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and open up Launchpad, Pad, and then search up Terminal. If you don't know where it is, it's probably in your other folder. Now you need to go figure out where you've downloaded Legacy iOS Kit. So, and once you open up your Legacy iOS Kit folder, you need to go ahead and open it. Then right here, you need to drag this restore.sh file into it. If it asks you to update, just go ahead and hit yes. And then we'll go ahead and download the update. So now what you need to do is you need to restore, run the script again once it's finished updating. So go ahead, if you had to, so go ahead and run restore.sh again. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and hit restore slash downgrade. And then if the version that you downgrade to isn't one of these, Go to more versions and select the version you want. In my case, I'll do 3.0. Select target IPSW. Now I'll go ahead and give you the option to select it. Hit choose. And then if you don't want to do anything else, just go ahead and start restore. Hit yes. And I'm sorry for that train driving by my house where I have no control over that, obviously. And I have more success with iPhone, so I'd use that. And now the downgrade will complete, so I'll get back to you once it's done. And just like that, I have downgraded this iPhone 3GS to iPhone OS 3.0, as you can tell. And this downgrade is fully untethered, so you can reboot it as many times as you want. It'll come back on again. You won't have to plug it into your computer. One, the biggest side effect of this downgrade is that you might see some text on screen as you up your phone, because that's just chosen by default, unless you chose choose custom boot logo. So there is that. But... Did this downgrade work for you? Please comment that down below. As always, thank you all for watching this video. I'm the iTunes Fanboy, and peace out.